Welcome back. You join us as we arrive at Camping Las Dunas in St Pia Pescador in northern Spain. So we checked in online, so when we arrived we literally just have to give our name at the barrier and we were handed a envelope full of information and then as we hadn't been on this site before they took us to our pitch so it's really smooth and really quick. As you can see the roads are really wide and ideal for a tag axle. We were in area B which were some of the larger pitches and closest to the pool and the beach. On our morning as you can see these are really big pictures i think they're up to about 150 meters square so there's plenty of room for us right up to that side all the facilities and everything around this corner electric and water This is the entertainment area which is attached to the pool bar. There's live music on every couple of days and other activities as well. The food is really good and we can highly recommend the chicken wrap. Here you've got a takeaway, little shop and then a souvenir gift shop just up there. And opposite is a supermarket, laundry and the restaurant and then the pool area. So this is the shop and the laundry. You can see the shop is clean and tidy and a real decent size. There's a butcher and a baker inside as well, so fresh bread every day. This is the souvenir shop and then this is the boutique. This is cash only. The reception is also cash only, uh, but there are cash machines, but they'll charge you £5 a time. So make sure you do bring some cash with you. Here is the restaurant. Uh, we didn't go in as we weren't too keen on the menu choices so I can't let you know what that was like I'm afraid. This is the grill bar which is next to the beach. We kind of forgot about this one as it's quite away from all the other bars so we didn't actually eat here which is a bit of a shame to be honest because it did look nice. At the far end of the site there's basketball courts, football pitches and a large open field and there's also a motorhome wastewater service area. We're heading for a game at Crazy Golf. We've got scores to settle. Andy beat me yesterday at air hockey and I beat him at table football. So let's see who wins the golf. Looks like we're going to get rained on again. I think it's rained every day we've been here so far. See if we can get around this course before we get wet. So to settle our jewel, Andy has won. This is a kids area. They did actually have a uh, kids club on earlier. I think you all get matching t-shirts looking when we walk past. So that's really cool. There's a nice large swimming pool area with plenty of kids areas in it and slides and other bits and bats. Opens at 10am on a morning and there's plenty of deck chairs available. Really clean and really nice. Up on the hill, on 
on her way to the mill. Well, good morning. I've brought my coffee down to the beach and come down to watch the sunrise. And what a beautiful morning it is. Proud and not loud. But where are you now? Misunderstood, said she would. Help the ones that she could. No glimpse of doubt But where are you now? Years have passed And restless legs have settled We're finally home Down is up We've been at As we got comfy on the beach It decided it was going to absolutely chuck it down again so we decided we'd get some jobs done and found this lovely machine to sort the toilet out for us. As it's gone cloudy again, we've come out on the bikes for a little bit. If you turn right out of the site and then right again, you get onto this lovely little cycle path. So let's see where it goes. found a uh, motor on park up. I'll pop the what three words on the on the screen so you can see where it is but can't get across due to the river. still following the river and we're heading back into the town centre in St Pierre Pescador. We're now around the back of the Senia campsite. We stayed at a Senia one further down the coast actually, Calagogo, and that was a really nice sight. We stopped for a quick drink in the town centre by trying the lemon dam beer which was actually quite tasty and had a ride through the lovely town centre before heading back again. As you can see they're quite narrow streets um, but it was really pretty and quite nice to have a cycle round. It's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the foam Pulling the stitches Time to let go So come what may And it would be rude not to stop for another drink at one of the many bars along the route. So as you can see, following the cycle path along the beach into the town and back was around about 12 miles. It's a hard gravel path all the way so it was ideal for cycling or walking or running. And there's plenty of beach access points, bars and water sport places along the way. And you pass another a number of other campsites too. So good morning. Um, the forecast for today isn't that great to be fair, it's coming in a bit cloudy again. It's not been great all week to be fair, I think we've had probably three days sunshine, a couple of days of rain. Um, so we're originally due to leave tomorrow and we were going to drive all the way up through France 
up to Calais tomorrow, just do it in a wanna and then get the tunnel on Sunday morning. But we thought, well, it's a bit rubbish today. We'll make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So I think we're going to head off sort of lunchtime today, see how far we get. Um, and then hopefully find some sun for this later on this afternoon, chill out for a bit and makes it a little bit easier tomorrow. So we'll get this place sorted out, tidied up and let's head back through France. What can you ask for than a kilogram of Haribo gold bears? That will definitely keep me quiet on the way home. So we're on pitch 507, which is a premium, where you get Wi-Fi, 12 amps of electric, fresh and grey water. And I think they're up to 150 metres squared. So perfect for a tag axle. Looks like everybody else has left. And it's now our turn to leave. shuffling we're out the main risk for here is grounding out as you can see the pitches are quite a bit higher than the road we couldn't reverse onto the pitch due to the height levels being so different the front wheels were just spinning so it's just one to be aware of we have to say we were glad we had the radios as our rear view camera stopped working again in fact it hasn't worked the whole of this trip so it does make it a little bit trickier than it needs to be when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Looks like we're left just in time So we will see you in France Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in 